Hi everyone, what we have here is Lionel's latest rendition of the Mighty Mohawk. Let's check it out right now on Real Toy Trains. So this example of the 482 was known as the New Haven type, rather than a mountain or a mohawk. This did not get so far, so there would still be mountains, or in this case, as we see in this model, a mohawk. Okay, so like we said before, the mohawk has four wheels on the lead truck, eight drive wheels, and two wheels on the trailing truck. This model is equipped with some great added on details. Handrails running all the way down the boiler. Plenty of intricate piping added. You've got a legible builder's plate, a great looking smokestack, and all types of sand domes. The bell rings, but does not ring on its own. Sand domes. Speaking of sand domes, one of them does come off, just like that, where you can add your smoke fluid for the smoking whistle. The cap is held on with a magnetic cover and snaps back on just like you see here. Moving down, we've got more separately applied details everywhere. Brass pop-off valves and whistle, various valves and other things of the like. You've got two hatches out of the three that do open and shut just like that. The numbers on the engine are perfect. You've got some nice valves on the bottom and the smoke box detail is second to none. Coming to the front of the engine, you can see that it does have marker lights that do illuminate in two different colors. We'll see that in a little while. A headlight that's operational, operational number boards, a really well done feed water heater on the top, on the bottom, you can see that it's got a dummy scale coupler. It's got a coupler cut bar, nice chain detailing. The side steps are done well, and you can see that the boiler front does open on this engine. It's held down magnetically, and there it is open just like that. Okay, coming to the back of the locomotive, you can see the wireless draw bar right here. It's got separately applied grab irons in the back, two cab figures. The back head of this engine is done really well, loving all the gauges. Two little windows in the cab and the side windows. They do not open, but they are done well. Speaking of the back end of this locomotive, just look at how well Lionel did this. This is a model, and I can just feel the warmth coming out of that firebox. If I was one of these guys in this cab, I'd have my coffee right on the back of that thing. Moving on to the tender, you can see it's got nice detailing everywhere. It's got a real coal load, which is to be expected from a legacy steam engine. More detailing running down the back. The logo is done flawlessly, absolutely flawless here. The trucks are very nicely detailed. They did a great job with them. There is a separately applied ladder in the back. And there is a hatch underneath. And we'll show you why there is nothing under the hatch in a moment. Moving on to the front of the tender, you can see the wireless draw bar. You can see some added on details here. And over here, here's the cold door, and there are some added on handrails with steps on either side. Moving on to the back of the tender, you can see there is an operating coupler. There are some other added on details. The marker lights do operate, which we'll see in a little while. There's an added on ladder. The print is flawless once again, and the backup light does operate. 
If you're wondering where all the switches are for this locomotive, they're on the bottom. The smoke, the whistle, run program, and Bluetooth are on the bottom. So you're gonna have to flip it over or do some acrobatics. Once you're on the bottom, you'll be pleasantly surprised that the trailing truck has an independent swinging drawbar, which is nice and it should help this locomotive navigate some curves. And in case you missed it, this locomotive can navigate 054 curves. So you've got three pickup rollers, as you can see right here. And you've also got a little screw that you can add grease to this locomotive's transmission. And moving on to the lead truck, it does operate nice and freely, which should help this Mohawk around turns and keep it on the rails. Flipping the tender over, you can see it has two pickup rollers, which is nice. It's got two speakers, which helps with this engine's amazing sounds and some added on detailing. And we're still all loving that Lionel is changing their marker lights. You can change them from green to white and off if you so choose, back to green, great feature. To my surprise, you could actually change the marker light color on the back of the tender. Red to white, off, and back to red again. Awesome feature here. I really gotta say, this engine with the two speakers sounds amazing. Let's have a listen and then check out all five whistles. The mighty Mohawk has picked up our consist. Let's move her out.
Okay, train fam, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm really loving this new Mighty Mohawk that's in the New Haven scheme. I'm really glad I picked it up from Charles Rowe. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add in the end of this video, the Charles Rowe walkthrough, America's largest train store. Please make sure to check it out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thanks again.